In case you missed the news, Google Stadia is now running on Android TV without having to jump through hoops, which is really, really fantastic. I just posted a video uh, recently where I was talking about that and kind of showing the feature off. And uh, this person, Wilmer, asked a great question, by the way. Uh, he said, great video. Thank you. Uh, did you try the AI upscaling that comes on Shield TV Pro with a Stadia game? That is a great question. I love that. And if you guys ask questions in the comment section, sometimes I'll be able to turn those questions into a video and answer them. So thank you very much, Wilmer, for helping me make content and answer questions for other people. No, I have not tried that. And that's what this video is about. Let's try that right now. This video has now become very dangerous for me to make because I decided I wanted to show what AI upscaling does before we tested it on Stadia. And in order to do that, I had to load up a game that I knew it would work with, which is GeForce, or on GeForce Now, which is Valheim. And the reason why it's dangerous is this is one of my favorite games of all time. And just hearing the music is very intoxicating. This game is amazing and you should definitely play it. But here we are in GeForce Now. Let's hit the uh, AI upscaling button and see what happens. All right. So just take a look at what it looks like. And I'm going to hit the button now. So now I've got the upscaling on and now I've got the upscaling turned off. And as you can see, things get a lot sharper with the upscaling on, especially look at the text in the background. You can see where it says coal. All right. I turn it off. It gets all kinds of soft looking. I turn it on. It makes it a lot, a lot nicer looking. So now we know what it looks like. Let's test it in a game on Google Stadia. Okay, in order to test this out, I've loaded up The Division 2, one of my favorite games on Google Stadia, uh, up on my Shield TV Pro. Uh, you can see that it's running on Stadia because I just hit the button on my, on my controller. And what we're going to do is I'm going to press the hamburger button on my remote and see if we get the AI upscaling. And it says AI enhanced, not active. Upscaling not required. I hit it again. It says basic, not active, upscaling, not required. So what's going on here? Well, somebody might see that and say, well, Google is blocking AI upscaling. Why would they do that? Well, to protect their Stadia Pro subscriptions. I don't think that's the case. And we're going to test this out in a second. But I think this goes back to um, when they first made their announcement at GDC. They were standing up on stage and, you know, you've heard me say this before, that they foolishly said... 4k 60 and i've said over and over don't talk about numbers because you're only going to get yourself in trouble when you talk about numbers you can't promise what other publishers are going to do on your platform so they should never have done that but whatever moving on technically what they said was true you're getting 4k 60 whether the game's running at 4k 60 or not is a completely different animal but you are getting 4k 60 all right what that means is that the game is streamed to you at a resolution of 4k and at a uh a, a refresh rate of 60 hertz now if the game is running at 4k 30 then what they do is they just double up those frames so they'll send you every frame twice now why would they do that well the more frames that they send you the lower the latency is going to be when you're playing a game over the cloud because the more frames that come in, the, the sooner you react, then the quicker that that signal gets back to them. And so you will experience less latency. So they're always sending you a, a 60 hertz um, signal, even if the game is running at 30 hertz. Uh, as far as 4K, if you are paying for a 4K stream and the game is running at 1080p, well, they're just upscaling it at Google servers. So when the Shield TV Pro gets this um, this 4K signal, it says, well, it's already 4K. I can't upscale it anymore. But we're not done yet because here's what I think we should test. I think that we should load this game up where I'm restricting the uh, bitrate to 1080p instead of 4k because i have the ability to do that if i close my game down exit game and i go to options and i come down here i can change the resolution 
I can change it to whatever I want. So I'm going to change it to 1080p. And then I'm going to load the game back up. And let's see how it looks. And then we'll test and see if the, uh, if the little hamburger button does its magic. Oh, hey. Yeah, I'm editing this video right now. So I got to... I really got to stay focused. Listen, since you're here, do me a favor. Uh, if you could subscribe, that would be like really fantastic. And uh, click on the bell. That's awesome too. All right, I got to I got to get back to this. And I can't really do this with you looking over my shoulder, so you know, subscribe and then watch the video. All right, so now I've lowered my uh, resolution down to 1080p. And I'm using my Shield TV Pro. I've got the AI upscaling turned off. We're in the same location. My character's roughly facing the same direction and the same lighting conditions. Uh, so everything should look worse than before. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the AI upscaling and see how it looks. All right. So when the, the first thing that I notice is if you look at the... At like where it says view player just to my uh to the to the to the right of my left shoulder uh that is a lot crisper when i have the ai uh, the ai upscaling turned on if i turn it back on look at how crisp it gets look at my uh uniform like the 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 gear that my character is wearing this is with the a the ai upscaling turned on and this is with it turned off it gets a lot softer when it's turned off so now what I'm going to do is I want to put the footage side by side where I've got the AI upscaled on one side and the 4K native, well, native, the 4K signal on the other side. And we'll see what, what it looks like. All right, I'm looking at the footage side by side right now, and I can definitely tell them apart. Now, the question would be, would I be able to tell them apart if I didn't have them side by side? And my gut tells me probably not. But when I look at it side by side, I can tell which one. Well, I can tell which one I like better. And that one turns out to be the 4K one. Uh, go ahead and pause the video. Look at the two sides and make a decision. Which one do you think looks better? All right. Now that you've made that decision, uh, I'm going to tell you what I think. The one on the right has more contrast, has more dynamic range. I'm not super into video stuff, so maybe I'm using the wrong terms here. But overall, I think that the one on the right looks better. And that's the one that's 4K. The one on the left is the one that's 1080p upscaled. The resolution, the sharpness of the two, I can see that this, the 4K one is a little bit sharper, but for the most part, if I were playing in 1080p with this upscaling, I would be perfectly fine with it. So now that we've got that question answered, thank you for sending it in, by the way. What other questions do you all have? Let me know in the comments section down below. I'll see you next time. Stay awesome, everybody.